Thank y'all for stopping by my channel. Please hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. Everything in this video is alleged and the fair use disclaimer is in the description box. Um, Prince Harry. Prince Harry got a lot going on. He's named in the 73-page um, paperwork lawsuit of Diddy's. Not only that, Prince Harry had a lot going on over there in Africa because some charity or something like that that um, he's over, been complaining for like 10 years about them getting abused and tortured and stuff like that by the park rangers. Park rangers arrest them and allegedly abuse them. Um, <laughs> and I'm not just talking about physically, like, hitting them. I'm talking about the R word as well. And Prince Harry, they said that they've been telling him this for years and he don't do anything. So now he's been asked to step down. But it just tripped me out because when I saw, when I first saw that a few months ago, I was like, dang, I, I need to read more on that. And it slipped my mind. But I did, you know, take a few screenshots then. And now that his name came up in the 73-page lawsuit of Diddy's, yikes. With that same word in it, yikes. But y'all going down. But <clears throat> here's a clip of um, what's going over there, going on over there in Africa. This is bigger than Diddy. I'm going to tell y'all that. This bigger than Diddy. I don't care what nobody say. So they all going to end up going down like Titanic. But yeah, I watch this clip right here. Did you know that one of Prince Harry's NGOs in Africa has been accused of supporting torture, rape, and land eviction? <laughs> Uh, that this organization, African Parks, have, um, is, is responsible for human rights violations, terrible human rights violations. So that is why we are asking him to step down. African Parks has been accused for 10 years of mistreating an indigenous tribe named the Bacas in one of its national parks in the Republic of Congo. La forêt est interdite maintenant. On ne sait pas comment on peut vivre et continuer à garder nos enfants. According to Survival International, Prince Harry is the board member and was the president of the organization, which manages 22 protected areas in 12 African countries. The Baka will go to the forest to do so something they need, for example, collect honey. That's how they, their hunter gathers, how that, that how they get their food. And they will be arrested by the park rangers and, and tortured. It's also uh, condemned these people to starvation. These people rely on the forest for living. So that's why Survival is talking about a green genocide. Survival International says it warned Prince Harry several months ago, but that no action was taken to end the abuse. He replied to us, he put us in touch with the CEO of African Parks. We thought that he could use his um, influence uh, to um, push for a change and also to speak out uh, against the abuses. The NGO now calls on the rail to step down and to stop supporting African Parks. Following the report, the company said it launched an external investigation, fired some of the rangers involved, and hired a back anthropologist to better understand the indigenous people. Mining concessions are allowed to be in the park, luxury tourism is allowed. This is about this particular model of conservation, where we create protected areas, we militarize them, and we evict the people, we ban the people from entering. We have the responsibility to act because many of these atrocities are funded by Western money. And conservation today is fighting the best guardians of the natural world. And I think that this is the thing that we absolutely need to change.